Hello lovely people, I know, I know, me again with my content, what do you see there? Yeah, it's gonna be one or, more, or two more days of uh, some content just because uh, my family is out of the country and they're coming back on Friday, so on Friday all the, all the content is gonna stop because I will have to be home with the little one. Somebody on my latest video asked a question about IB mid base. So I'm gonna show you very quickly how I done it. And uh, I'm gonna talk a little bit about this material. So IB mid base. Um, the main thing that you need to do is to make sure that all the materials that you're using is waterproof or water resistant so i have here you cannot see really because under this uh, there's a ring that is made from aluminium it's not it's not a gap it's just uh, folded there's aluminium ring and at the moment i have this plywood ring because i needed it for the peerless driver that I was using because it, it had slightly larger basket so I needed to extend it a bit so that's why it's plywood but this is aluminium and it's bonded with the frame within with bolts and using fiber fill all over around so basically nothing can go through and um, now this material so this is it's called a hydrophobic uh, speaker grill material or speaker foam, whatever. So it is used in PA applications. And let me show you uh, what I have. Okay, so what I'll show you is a few different materials that we use in car audio and audio in general. I'm next to the sink because uh, we're going to try something with water. So, for example, this is everybody knows this this is a simple regular grill cloth yeah so it's just for literally just aesthetics for it to look better and this is a similar grill, grill cloth just uh, a bit i want to say less dense and it's a bit thicker so it's soft so some people use this material and that one as well to wrap like a pillars dash or whatever i bought it from china from aliexpress now this is an open cell foam ocf it's called and this is slightly different from the regular acoustic foam it is slightly more dense because i bought it from a different supply that uh, they have so uh, I, th I think it's called rubbermats.uk they sell mainly like rubber mats and everything and they do sell this foam which is when you buy this foam they send you a certificate with all the acoustical testing that they do uh, if i'm gonna find a picture i'm gonna include it in this video and uh, this is like they have like a special grade so it is slightly more dense it's slightly more um how should i say it harder to press but it still lets all the air through and it's like it's like open cell foam yeah so you can squish it between the panels it doesn't squish like it squishes but not as like the regular one so i use this i like this one now this is a closed cell foam so this is basically foam that is closed cell so it's totally waterproof and totally not breathable so you can have in different thicknesses this is very thin because i use it to just to decouple some panels and this is the actual um hydrophobic grill material grill mesh or whatever so you can find it in various places it's very very th um, soft and it's it has Compared even to the open cell foam, it has very um, op uh, big pores and open pores. So com comparing this, looks like it's closed, but it's open. And this one is even more open. It has very, very big pores and it's extremely, extremely breathable. Yeah. So this is what I think is 
close to a, maybe 18 mil thick, so uh, three quarters of an inch or something like that. And what I wanna show you is how these materials react to water. So I'm gonna try to capture it somehow. And we're gonna start with the easiest, which is closed cell foam. So closed cell foam is totally and absolutely waterproof, yeah? It's just nothing sticks to it. That's the thing like, uh, if you want to put foam in the doors, or somewhere where it's uh, like a lot of moisture, you always put closed cell foam because it doesn't hold any liquid in it, yeah? It's just, it's closed cell foam. Now, open cell foam, on the other hand, it has some repelling properties, but you can see it get the water gets into it straight away and it absorbs the water. So this open cell foam, you don't want it in the doors because if you have moisture issues or like leaking, rain leaks in the doors always, you're gonna have this. So it, it just see, it, it just absorbs the water and it keeps the water inside, yeah? And yeah, open cell foam. And now this material, which is the hydrophobic material, so you can see you can see through it. If I can you can see the sink through it. If I pull it, yeah, you can see it's very, very open. But what's happening with this, I'm trying to position because it's a big sheet sheet. So run some water. You see the water runs, it does absorb some, but it runs away. And if I hold it like oh sorry, I don't know if you'll be able to see like this so the water runs away see I'm, I'm i'm doing it here and the water runs away it it starts to drip if you like soak it but it kind of runs away it does absorb it but it runs away because it doesn't keep it so it just runs away yeah and the thicker you use it uh, the more protective it is so it does hold some of it but not as much as closed cell foam and it basically ev evaporates fast and the thing is like if you have this material somewhere like in uh, in IB kicks or IB subwoofer you will never ever have anything like this what you're gonna have is literally just a spray uh, a mist of water and all the water if you have it like this all is gonna run it's not gonna collect it's gonna run and it's gonna just drip off so i don't know if it helped anyone um if i'm gonna find a link but it's gonna be a uk site it's not gonna be a us site if i'm gonna find a link for this material i'm gonna put it in the comments so if in uk you can buy it and uh yeah i don't know i, I hope it was useful and uh yeah see you in the next one bye